Teams focus on situational awareness. Doris, what have you noticed so far this season? Yeah, Kev, these situations are really all about execution, right? Are players poised in late clock situations? First of all, do they recognize where the shot clock is? Can they adeptly and quickly read defenses? So those are some of the things I'm watching for. And so it's the Warriors getting on the board first. Tipped away. The drive by MP and the dunk by MP. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Here's Collins following the score by Golden State, and they pick up two. Yeah, John Collins, tremendous body control because the contact was there. He just doesn't allow it to bother him. And when you look at John Collins' advanced numbers, Doris, they jump off the page. Yeah, probably the advanced numbers you're referencing, Kevin. Offensive rating, true shooting percentage. And when you look at it through that lens, Collins is absolutely able to score from a variety of spots on the floor, and the guy's an absolute terror on the glass. And it's George missing. Golden State's gone 2-2 two two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Watkins passes to Green. Golden State moving the ball around. From outside the arc, Kessler with the rebound. For Utah, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. And the shot goes down. Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson yeah, showing he's capable of finishing inside. I got him, I got him. Curry against George. Curry, that's good. 80% from the field to start, playing with a ton of confidence. Marking in passes to Clarkson. Teardrop shot. It's rebounded by Golden State. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. And MP gets it to go on the assist by Green. And that's 10 points for MP. For Utah, they've gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Curry against George. Kicks to Markinen. Clarkson outside. And it's MP with the rebound. And it's the Warriors ball. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Here's Curry, and there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Boy, that was quick. Already out to a double-digit lead. Wow, they've come out strong. Control the pace, assert their will. Nice. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jazz. And many around the league believe Curry doesn't get enough fouls called in his favor. Uh, G.A., what do you think? There could be some truth to that. He gets held and grabbed more than anyone when running off screens, but especially blatant on drives to the rim. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Kevon Moody is checked in for Trace Jackson Davis. Jonathan Kaminga comes in for Green, and it's Buddy Heald in for Wiggins. Bangs home the trifecta. You can see Keontae George, a guy who can score it, but that ability to pass and complement that scoring so critical. A three from MP. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got three assists in the game. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they shot the basketball. Now, here is George. Hasn't made one yet. Sexton dishes to George. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. His first make, and, you know, maybe that will get him going. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. They're leading by eight. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it, because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. A power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. That could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. Kaminga finds MP. That one is good again. He's six for eight from the floor with the basket. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. The pass to Hendricks. Now George, guarded by Curry. George against Curry. 
Here's Hendricks. Off the mark, his first miss of the game, one for two. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Connects from three-point range. Four three. And that's 18 points for MP. And so many teams now look to establish the perimeter to set up everything else. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. Sexton for three. No good that time. Well, you're trying to answer the three, but you force up a shot that he would have been better off passing up. And so it's the Golden State Warriors holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And don't go away. We'll be right back. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. The pairing up front, it'll be Collins and Kessler. Sharing the wing spot, it's Clarkson and Markinen. And it's Sexton in at the point. That's the five of the four for the Jams. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, a couple of seasons ago, Steph Curry first brought out the night-night when he put a team away. Asked about his inspiration, he said, I have no idea. I don't choreograph any of that stuff. I was just having fun. You know how kids bedtime the teams are important? It's the final signal for job well done that day. Kevin? Well said. He is a one of one, D.A. Greg, since reaching five consecutive NBA Finals, the Warriors have missed the playoffs three of the past Andrew, five years. Wiggins. And to be... Decided to decided to change it up. And guys, hold on now. I'm getting word. We have Shams Charania calling in. Shams, what do you have for us? Well, guys, teams are all grappling with this new CBA, especially the dreaded second apron. Fans possibly unclear on what it means. Honestly, even front offices are still navigating the complexities of the new restrictions. But basically, it has become harder for teams to spend big and acquire new players under the current system. We'll see, guys, how this impacts everyone moving forward. Something to keep an eye on, no doubt. All right, Johns, thanks a lot. Sexton, the pass to Filipowski. And George kicks to Sexton. And it's Looney with the rebound. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. And here's MP for three. Another three for Golden State. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. George looking over the floor. Pass to Hendricks. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Watkins, and it's Golden State with another. Boy, he's been unconscious this quarter. I love the confidence he's playing with. Jazz trail by 17. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first half. Here's George, and he lays it straight in. George has got four this quarter. And nice touch inside. George can finish from all three levels. Here's Watkins. Rebounded by the Jazz. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. And, and guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger. And we really saw it play out on the offensive end. And what surprised me was how easy they made it look. It seemed like they got something out of every possession. The shot by Sexton, no good. One second left. And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's the Golden State Warriors riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. 
right back after this break. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You look at MP in this game, guys. He has been everywhere. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. In it, small and power forward. It'll be Wiggins and Green. Stephen Curry's out there with MP. And it's Jackson Davis in at the center. MP against Clarkson. It's hauled in by Jackson Davis. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. He gets that one. Assistant. The assist totals, Kevin, Chase just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Collins finds Clarkson. Now, here is George. Wiggins with some nice D. Warriors leading by 19. You know, Greg, thinking back to the glory days in Utah, they went to back-to-back -back finals in 97 and 98. Unfortunately, though, Kevin, that, that Stockton Malone era, they just couldn't overcome the dynastic Bulls. The, the Jazz still searching for that first NBA title. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Well, I guarantee you this is not what they talked about in the locker room. 0 for 3 and looking lost. Passes it to Watkins. Fires away from way outside. Rebound, Utah. They tried to stay perfect in the half, but three for four now. Clarkson against MP. And it's blocked. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. And Jackson Davis Jackson gets it Davis. to go. Assist Jackson ball. Davis has got ten. On. Oh, Green. great ball movement there. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. They need this. Clarkson missing again. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Green with the ball. And it's Clarkson picking him up. And it's in there. Wow, this is next level now. Draymond Green in the pick and roll with the ball in his hands. Really nice job there. Utah calls timeout. And to me, Draymond Green really embodies the idea of a high IQ player. He can read the opposition, predict where a play is going, and those instincts aren't something that can be easily taught to anyone. And the Warriors making a change here. Moody's checked in. Here's a look at some stats for Green. He had a strong showing last season. Averaged about eight points a game last season. Six assists and seven rebounds. And, and it's nice to be able to bring someone with his defensive skill set off the bench. I think, in fact, to win a championship, you usually need a guy like this on your roster. Well, they've been better. Golden State. Both teams will make substitutions. And game. some stats here, guys. Paul, the scoring breakdown Sexton. for the Warriors. The three-pointers and how well they're able to shoot them. You wonder if they can keep it up. And boy, have they. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. In it forward. It's going to be Markinen and Collins. Sexton is the point. Clarkson is in at two. And it's Kessler in at the five spot. That's the five on the floor for the Jams. Pass to Collins. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Markinen kicks to Collins. Oh, he changes it right over Tremont Green. Wow. With a little bit of style, John Collins up and off his feet. 
And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. And here's MP for three. Good, and Curry gets the assist. That's now 32 points for MP. And so Sexton will bring it up for Utah. And it's Kessler, top of the key. He kicks to Clarkson. We've heard some players' doors propose that refs should be fined for missed calls, especially with the game on the line. What do you think? Kevin, I couldn't disagree more. First and foremost, the level of accountability for NBA officials is unprecedented. And keep in mind, there is discipline for high-profile mistakes and mistakes of all kinds. Every single game, every single call is evaluated, and you see their progression in terms of, yes, they'll officiate in the playoffs, or no, they won't. We are right where we need to be. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Warriors. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for MP. Efficient productivity. You love what this guy has given to you on the offensive end. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Collins passes to Clarkson. Good on the seven-foot hole. Well, the awareness of John Collins to understand my teammates open, let me find him. The clock now can just run out for the Warriors. MP looking around. Takes a three. Misses the shot. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no one. That's exactly right. But with the way they control the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony.